start spreading the news We're all gonna die So how do you survive a nuclear blast in this city that already smells like ass? (laughs) True, New Yorkers who are worried about crime, disease, and inflation can now add nuclear radiation. New York City's Emergency Management Department produced a PSA, or PSA, on how to survive a nuclear bomb, which is exactly what I was worried about as a naked man was fondling himself in front of me on the R train. (laughs) Actually, I was praying for a nuclear bomb. Roll it, Ricardo. So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why, just know that the big one has hit, okay? So what do we do? There are three important steps that I want you to remember. Don't ask me how or why? (laughs) Well, that's convenient. No backstory on why we got nukes? I'll make up my own. Biden thought he was pressing the button for the nurse. But, but please tell me the steps, lady dressed like Steve Jobs. Step one, get inside fast. You, your friends, your family, get inside. And no, staying in the car is not an option. You need to get into a building and move away from the windows. Step two, stay inside. Shut all <laughs> doors and windows. Have a basement? Head there. If you don't have one, get as far into the middle of the building as possible. So, wow, staying in cars is not an option. Uh, what will comedians like Jamie do? <laughs> I mean, that's where, that's where he lives. <laughs> or divorced comics, that is. But what if you're outside after the blast? If you were outside after the blast, get clean immediately. Remove and bag all outer clothing to keep radioactive dust or ash away from your body. Step three, stay tuned. Follow media for more information. Don't forget to sign up for Notify NYC for official alerts and updates. And don't go outside until officials say it's safe. All right, you've got this. (laughs) You got this? Sorry, honey, this is a nuclear war, not a Pilates class. (laughs) And remove and bag all outer clothing. That's what we do after we visit Kat's office. (laughs) So why is New York giving instructions now about a nuclear blast? Maybe Mayor Adams is finally serious about getting criminals off the streets. (laughs) There are syringe-filled sidewalks, an insane asylum subway, and the only people getting arrested are those defending themselves from attackers. Maybe the city's strategy is to get us all inside and then blow everything up, which I am against. (laughs) But I do wish the city would put out a PSA to help us cope with the real problems. So your city's been taken over by progressives. It's important for you to understand your life is about to get a lot worse. But there are steps that you can take to stay safe. Step one, get inside. (laughs) Progressive crime policies mean your streets are about to become violent, drug-fueled, homeless nightmares. Step two, watch out for human excrement. It's going to be everywhere. Poor city planning, urban decay, and lack of law enforcement mean public streets are now public bathrooms. Step three, stay tuned to the media. The media know what's best for your family. The media are better than you. Also, don't get too attached to your wallet. You're gonna lose a lot of them. You've got this. Oh my God. On my phone too. Lydia, as a New Yorker, do you find this uh, helpful at all, this uh, nuclear war prep video? I could use a PSA for how not to get pushed in front of a train. Yes. That might be helpful. <laughs> no, my theory on this, there are 325,000 New York City employees, and I think they have to do something to justify the tax payer dollars that right. go to them. And this is very reminiscent to me of, if you remember during COVID, 
the city released a guideline for how to have safe sex mm -hmm. while wearing an N95 mask. Right, that was great. This is very much in the genre of things that if people had better things to be doing, they wouldn't be doing. Yeah, and the I disagree. I think the bomb's coming. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's sucked about? I mean, the whole thing about telling you to wear that M N93 mask at drink sex, you have to put it over the other mask? Yeah. There's a lot of protection that they wanted people to have. Yeah. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> that was just... And the red ball gets in the way. Yeah, the red ball. Can't hear the safe word. A lot of confusion. Oh, my God. Cat. <laughs> Yep. Do you find this helpful? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I feel like if I'm in the midst of a nuclear bomb attack, mm -hmm. I'm not going to remember, like, the video. Yeah. And... <laughs> or anything. I'm going to run around screaming, I'm going to be somebody else's problem. That's, yeah. you know, just like I'm in any crisis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm not... The, I'm not gonna, I mean, I want to be the walking dead. I don't want to be somebody protecting people from the walking dead. Well, I just won't be able to. And yeah. I, again, the, the fact that they start with don't ask me how, don't ask me why, I want to, whenever, I want to ask why, I can't ask why. Yeah. Mm. Jamie, they just gave us another reason to leave the city, <laughs> right? It's like, it, think about this. What the, the subliminal thing is, we only bomb big cities anyway. Yeah. So it's like, here's another reason to get the hell out of New York and go to Austin or go to Nashville. They're, this is basically a video telling you to leave. It is like we need more stuff like to scare us. Do we need more stuff? Yeah. I feel like the next video they'll just be like, boo. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what though? <laughs> I'm so glad I saw this PSA because I, I memorized all the steps because my old plan, if there was a nuclear attack, was just gonna be to be vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do this instead. Maybe yeah. this is their attempt to finally get rid of all the cockroaches. That's true, but they'll, they'll definitely live. The cockroaches yeah. will win. You know, I did like, though, I like step three there, like wash all your clothes. I like how they've just assumed <laughs> that I <laughs> my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everyone would also do step four, right? Where you check the mirror and see if it made you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta embrace That's what this. I would do. That's what you gotta embrace. Like, if you're all of a sudden you're hideous, it's like, okay, I'm a yeah, zombie. Then I'm going back. Outside. I'm going back outside. <laughs> pillage. Finally, I, I get to pillage. Tyrus, what did you? You were like couldn't hold it together during. Uh, because I, I apparently saw a different video than you guys. <laughs> Everything I heard was, you got about 15 minutes. Whoever's close to you, get inside, have some fun. You don't even got to do it in the car anymore. <laughs> you can do it on the roof. Oh. And as soon as you get done, find someone else and get inside again. Like get in as many as you can. And don't. They're not going to ask. I did not hear that. They're not going <laughs> to ask how or why. We got 15 minutes. <laughs> So let's all just get weird. Let's just go out. That's, that's what I took it as. So don't ask, don't tell, because we're not going to be around anyway. So, yes. you know. Yeah. And, if you, and then you have to start. Oh, but if you survive, then you have to start the whole race all over again. Well, we got a good start before the 15. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. oh, get those man. few in, because that's it. Oh. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.